you can pass some sort of trial like this. Ah, correct. Uh, stitching is update operation. So, so here it is nothing but update only. Only thing is that I want to do this in more than one data. Okay, so how will you do? You have to do in this way. So this is the two on the or operator will do. Okay, so let's try to go in here. I will just add. I'll create one of those button over here. Okay. I'll create one of the button called stitch and which will stitch uh, on the data. We will stitch. Oh, sorry, it is a text view. You have to make it to button. Okay, on click I want to call some method then my that is on click, on click, this is the method name which we want to call, we will copy it, we will copy it and uh, we will what to do, we will just copy this also, control D and we will give this method stitch. Everything will remain same. What I want to do, whatever data I will pass in name, I want to stitch that. Then, then uh, how, how, will you, how will you write the command? Tell me. How will you write the command? All the these things will remain same. Okay, this one is also I will just remove it. We will start from the beginning. Okay, so how I will write the command? Tell me. Database dot exec SQL. SQL. I need the SQL command. Okay, so I'll give you command string. Command string. Create a local variable. Command string. Okay, and what is the command we want to run? We want to do this. So update student. Update student. Okay, then set. This is the one which we are writing. Let us set name equal to how will you tell me name stitching operator then i want to add kumar so i will use kumar like this okay then where if you want to have where then you can have where or else it will do everywhere okay so you can pass like this then what will happen all the name will become name with kumar okay now suppose I don't want to add Kumar, I want to add the string which is coming from name. Then how how will you do? Tell me. You have to do double quote then plus. Uh, we have to add our order trick. Okay. Then which one you want to add? Name, right? So name string. Name string. That's all. Then plus. Okay. So you can write something like string. That's all. Okay, let's run this code. And it is still.
okay so this is called switching operation uh, let, let let that run okay now similarly whenever you want to update something what to do you have to pass like this name equal to name then you have to pass like this okay stitching so this is our operator which will do the stitching of your task okay. now let's try to um, let's try to understand some of those methods okay so methods to do the operation without knowing sql command okay sometimes if you don't know the sql command you want to work with your database okay so how will you do that okay so here is the way to work with it okay so what are the methods are there if you want to insert then we are having one of the method called insert instead of exec sql what we run we will run insert if you want to update then update if you want to delete then delete these are the three methods which are available retrieval which we have already seen query was the method <coughs> okay so now these two insert and update whenever they work without sql command then they use one of those class called content value what is the op op class it will use content value okay so we have to create some sort of data in content value what is content value you will ask what is content value right so what is content value content value is nothing but key value pair so do you remember where we have studied this key value pair earlier we have studied in hash map okay so this content value also works in that principle only hash map only okay and whenever you this this content value we we have one of the method called dot put okay and what would be the key key will be your column name what will be the value value will be your data name i mean the data which you want to insert okay so typically put will have and first will be the key suppose key is my name suppose you want name to be test then you will pass like this so content value we have to do put automatically it should work for us so yeah this came now this is last one is stitching operator okay so so now i want to stitch so how will you do suppose suppose i want to stitch kumar kumar everywhere so not only i just have to click on over, click over there as soon as i'll click what will happen stitch successfully if i'll go and and fetch the database so how will fetch the database data then data then test example i want to fetch it so this is the one which we want to work with how will you do this here right so I'll pull it. I was storing in desktop. I'll store it in desktop. I'll go over there. I'll just refresh it. See, Kumar came. Oh, the place Kumar Kumar came. Okay. If we'll have where condition that I want to stitch trial Kumar only. I don't want to stitch test and then what? Where name equal to trial. Automatically it will do that. Okay. So so on the third. So we have to put the where condition. now we want to do the operation using some content provider methods so what are those content provider methods insert update delete okay so very simple i mean till now what we are doing we were using those normal insertion normal insertion means i was writing insert into the table name values something like this right so now i suppose i don't know i am the guy who don't know how to do the how to write the command for that then then we have to use this method called insert very simple so so let's let's try to go and try to use those methods so how how what is the what are the parameters we have to pass table name then null column map null column map we will discuss after some time don't worry about that and what is the second third one content values and content value what is content values content value is nothing but the key value pair of your data which you want to insert okay 
so let's try to go over there and, and change some some sort of thing so we'll go over there where is our data where we are doing insertion i think where is our yeah it is here so this we are using exit sql now i don't want to exit sql i want suppose i don't know the query how i'll do that okay so i'm just commenting it and we'll do the same operation using our insert method so and guide me how we'll do database dot insert what is the first name what is the first one table name so i'll just pass the table name so what is my table name mm, a student is my table name student is my table name okay now what is the second one null column i have for time being just pass null what is that i'll tell you after some time okay and what is the third variable content values so we have to create content values it will ask for the in instantiation we will do this content values equal to new content values and as i told content value will have two thing key value so the start of this content values dot put what what is the thing you want to insert name so you will pass the key as your column name and values is your whatever name is coming name is string that's all simple similarly if you want to insert the data called as i will get this as string if i insert address then just pass address what is the one you to pass address string that's all over okay now if we'll see here insert insert method returns something okay so let that we'll see after some time let's run this code. so this should behave exactly like your previous insert statement like this the one which is there in our line number 60 okay so this is about to insert statement. and automatically insert returns one of those data called int int means integer so what it returns it returns which is the row position where your data got inserted okay so so you can we can have some sort of did it run or okay so so if if i insert maybe any name you know so case 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 as i have inserted in the address and do some sort of addition if i click on insert data what should do it should insert data and it is not your command what you are doing what you are doing you are writing your own method called insert okay so let's start to click on the insert what did it it inserted our data okay now if you want to see the data how will you do so oh, we have to pull this so how will you pull from here from here we'll pull it like this pull then we will will store it in save let's try to go and do this control r see automatically this data came so this is not your command which you are writing insert into this one what you are doing you are writing the method called insert to do the operation okay now now let's try to understand what is this second parameter <coughs> null means okay so second parameter null means let's try to look into this one very simple example i will go over there in my ui okay and i will insert something uh, maybe uh, some okay if i click on insert tell me my data will be inserted or not let's try to see data inserted successfully okay 
Now if I'll go here, where is our data? Uh, let's pull it. Let's pull it. Okay, so control R to refresh. See what happened? It has inserted <coughs> blank data. Okay, why blank data got inserted? Because it was having space. Okay, now the third way how I can do, I will go here and suppose this I will make it null. It is not a line. Okay, yeah, uh, so, so those are getting inserted. Okay, now uh, is it a line? Null, it is not a line. Okay, so uh, let's be let's does not allow. Okay, now we are having one of the method called clear. What is the method name? Clear. Okay, so I will do content values dot clear. What clear will do? Clear will clear all the no, all the variables which is added, right? Yeah, so now let's run this code. So tell me if I run this code, what data should be inserted? Clear means no data. So it should be blank, blank, blank. Okay, so that is the expectation. So let's run it, then we'll come to know whether blank is getting inserted or not. Clear means no data, right? So what you want to do, you are inserting null data. That's what is the expectation. So it got run. Let's try to okay so no matter whatever you'll put ultimately we are clearing out right so if i click on insert what should happen data inserted successfully okay now no, but ideally it should not where is it clear if you do no content values clear clear means it cleared out all the data so let's see whether data was inserted or not. Are you able to see? Where is your data? Your data is not there. Okay. You have inserted data. So what we were thinking is whenever we pa we pass, we don't we are clearing it. Clear means no data over there. Then, then what we are expecting, it might insert blank, 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 or null, 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 right? But it is not inserting. Why it is not inserting? Because in our null column, it is null. If you want to insert the data, then you have to give any of the column name. Okay. So now I'll just change it slightly, and I'll, I'll give the column name. Any column name, maybe name is the column name which I'll pass here. You can pass any column name. It will not matter. But you should have some hack to insert null. Okay. Now let's run this code. So now what will happen as I am having null column hack, even if I my data is not there, what should happen? It will try to insert some data with blank or null something like this. So let's try to see. it got run now suppose if i click on the insert data inserted successfully i'll, I'll go to here i'll just refresh once to get the latest data i will just pull it pull it database now we'll go here as soon as i'll do control rc one blank null 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 again Got it right? Previously, when I did that time, what was happening? Null value was not supported. But I just changed one small thing. What I changed? I removed that null from null column. I have put one column name or any name you can give. 
now you are able to insert your null data also so so this is the uh, i mean magic of null column map basically okay so so what we understood here is what is the second parameter mm, what is null column map null column okay so by default null data is not supported okay we can't insert or update the data with null okay if we we want to support null value we just need to pass some column name in null column okay then it will start supporting null also So by default, null data is not supported. If you if we can't insert a, or update data with null, but if we support, if you want to support, then what to do? You just have to make this null column map with some column name. Okay, the one the way how we have done. I just told you earlier. Similarly, similarly, insert. I want to update. Okay, then exactly same way. I mean, I don't want to work with this. We want to work with our update command so how to do database dot update is the method name which we used what is the first parameter column name what uh, sorry uh, database so table name what is my table name the student is my table name then second one null column hack if you want to support null column hack if you want to support null column hack then null and what is the third parameter we are passing content values okay so content Value. You have to create the object of it. Local variable equal to new content values. Is it asking for? Okay, okay, sir. So there are three param, four parameters basically. Table name, content value, where condition, and where at. Where at when it will come into picture if you are having some place marker called question mark. Okay. So what is the first parameter? This one is your uh, uh, table name. Then content value. Then what is the uh, third one? Where condition. Where condition. And what is the last one? Uh, argument. Where at. Okay. So where at. So if you have any sort of Question mark? Then this will come into picture. So where condition? Just pass it over there. Then mm, mm, where are we will create? Then we'll create where are? Okay. Yeah. So now now suppose what is our data we are having? We want I want to convert this test trial to tapas. What I want to do? I want to convert this stress trial to tapas. Okay. Or else we will pass this stress trial from our name. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm, what we want to do? We want to update, right? So how to update? So very simple thing. What I'll do? If I'll pass here test Kumar. Now what is the current age of seventy-eight? Now, if I'll make it 100 and I'll click on the update, what should happen? My test Kumar age should become 100. 
means we want to update that okay let's try to do that it would be easier for us okay so so in where condition what should be there where where condition what should be there tell me what should be there in where condition what should be there where name equal to name equal to by default what you want to do you want to do test kumar kumar now i don't want to test kumar i want to get it from the name string so now i will do double quote plus name string then plus if you don't want to have this name string here you can have question mark and you can pass here so for timing i don't have any where are i'll pass it null and what is the name you want to set over there so how will you do you have to write put over there so content value dot put put okay name i want to retain my name so so what is the name we are getting name string i don't want to change my name what i want to change i want to change the edge okay so i'll pass it edge what is this edge edge string edge string similarly what we want to pass we want to change the address what to pass address string that's all so even if you don't know the command of update you will be able to work with like this okay so so what update returns update returns int what is int it will it will tell you how many rows got affected i mean whether two rows got changed or five rows got changed it will automatically give you the number over there okay so so we can have some sort of here int int rows affected equal to like this okay and and you can have here i'll just i'll do plus rows affected i mean if two rows one rows how many rows got updated i'll get the count over there okay so let's run this code So it got run. Did it run? Okay, so this is the way how we will get the update. Now, same thing. If I am having some question mark, then I have to pass. I have to pass in our where argument, similar to the previous one. Okay. Yeah. Now let's try to do the delete. So what I want to do? I want to do the delete without knowing the command. Without knowing the command, I want to delete my data. Okay. so we'll go to our original method where we are deleting here is the place where we are deleting okay so what we can do we can we can comment this i don't want to write the command i want to do my own way then tell me how we'll do database dot delete what it is asking for table name where condition and where are okay so table name we already know what is our table name the student is our table name we'll pass the table name here okay so we we'll student name then what is the second one where condition and what is the third one where args these are three variables now where condition i'll i'll create one where condition then what is the second one where args okay now which one you want to delete you have to pass the where condition so if you'll have something like where name where name equal to name equal to 
if you want to delete something tapas then how to do you have to pass like this tapas okay now what i want to delete i don't want to delete tapas i want to delete from the name so how to do name string name string plus this is the way or else what you can do let's start to do the place marker so if you want to do the plus in place marker how to do tell me you will have question mark here and here is the place where you have to, you have to create some string okay so which is the name name string okay that's all then what will happen it will delete the name which you are passing from your name string okay so on this one should what you do you have to do an update right so the data is test kumar what i want to make age as 100 so test spelling should be case sensitive T E S T space K U M A R test command. I want to make my age as 100. I'll pass 100. I'll, I want to change address to Bangalore, maybe. Okay, so Bangalore. Okay, now when I click on the update, what should happen? This data should become 100 and Bangalore. So let's try to click on the update. So data got updated successfully. I have to pull it. How I'll pull from here only. Just pull like this. We will store where in our desktop. I'll go over there. Control R is to see 100 and 100. So we have updated our data. This is the way I will do. This is not the normal update. This is your content provider methods update. Okay, using update method. Similar to this, what we have written now, delete. Okay, so let's run this code. It should delete our data. Okay, now what I want to delete test Kumar data. So how will you do test Kumar? I will click on delete. What should happen? It should delete my data. Okay, so let's try to do the delete. Okay, delete it successfully. I will just paste this database once again. And we'll put it over there. I will refresh. Control R. See, no test Kumar because I have deleted the data. Okay. Now there are two types of deletes. Okay. This delete. Okay. There are two types of delete. One is called soft delete. Okay. Another is called a hard delete. There are two types of deletes. One is called soft delete. Another is called hard delete. What is soft delete? Sub delete means you don't want to delete the data from database. Maybe future reference you will need, right? Sometimes. Then what we do, instead of deleting the data from database, we have one column, something like, uh, we currently we are having name column, age column, okay? And what is the third column? Mm, we are having address. Okay, we'll have one more column called deleted. Deleted. Okay, now, something like here we'll have some data here will be our uh, here will be something like this okay and deleted we will have something like y y means it is deleted okay and n means it is not deleted i mean you can have any sort of convention depending upon a requirement or else you can have true true false also true is deleted false is not deleted something like this true false or or maybe some sort of y n okay a any convention you can choose so what you are doing you are not deleting the data from here data is remaining but based on this one small column you will you are checking whether the data is there or not okay sometimes see try to understand suppose if you will if you will delete your gmail account deleted your gmail account okay will the data will be hard deleted no your data will be there in your gmail account or google google database okay later point of time if you have done some wrong thing they can track from that id are you able to understand so the data should not be deleted completely from your database because if you delete it then gone maybe maybe with that data many 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 differences are there right so typically data is not hard deleted 
data is soft deleted you will have one column which will tell you deleted or not deleted okay yeah now now hard delete what does hard delete means the one which you have done now right? so removing removing data from from table you are completely deleting your data okay that is called your hard delete so the data will not present in your database in soft delete what will happen data will be present in your database okay only thing is that people will not be able to see or they will cannot be able to work with that okay so this is the way i will delete and yeah now what is content provider what is content provider what is content provider content provider is the mechanism mechanism by which one application will share the data with other applications so as i have already discussed now what happened whatsapp has shared all his phone number to facebook that's what we 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 got some uh, some sort of pop up right almost uh, one week back so how they have shared that data they have shared their database got it right so because facebook and whatsapp both are of the same uh, uh, company right because facebook acquired whatsapp no 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 it's not like what happened uh, facebook uh, what is that called it's not like facebook cannot access but before accessing in your whatsapp they are asking yeah, do, are you you want to share you want to data, uh, data with facebook then only they will share if you do no then they will not share okay so similarly similarly if you want to develop some application where there are two applications right? so application 1 application 2 you want to share application 2 data to application 1 first thing application 1 cannot see your data until and unless you will not give authority to application 1 okay otherwise uh, otherwise many applications book my book my show will will uh, take the uh, data of yatra.com yatra.com will take the data of go ib go so they can they can do a lot of things right so this is against our rule i mean this is breaching the rule of security okay so that's why one application cannot touch the data of other application if they will be able to touch it then they will do some sort of hacking and they will do lot of problems to the applications okay so now if you are booking ticket from yatra.com it is not over thing go ibbo they have done some hacking right so they it is not good way okay so what they will do if if you really want to give access your database to some other application you have to use this content provider mechanism then only you will be able to provide it basically okay so there will be many things i mean authority authority is the one okay and then you are you will have uri uri resolver one uri will be there okay by which you will be able to use those so that's why i told this this is the application okay so they are using so so more applications are sharing the database right so this is nothing but your content provider okay now this one we have already seen how to see the database you will go to data data and all those things okay now let's try to do i mean whatever operation we are doing from here from our ui or or we are doing from here if you remember i had told you i can i can do the operation from here also right this is the place right i can write the command what you want to do something if you want to update you can write update star update then set okay whatever you want to do whatever command you want to execute you can execute from here also okay there is third way by which you can execute called command prompt okay so if you want to execute your data from command prompt what you have to do first you have to open your command prompt okay command prompt and you have to connect with your sqlite 3 okay so because my i have already set my environment variable as my uh, sdk i mean uh, what is that called android sdk so no need to do anything i can directly use from here if you have not set your environment variable in path then you have to set it then you have to do or else you have to go to that folder where your sdk is present basically you can do cd then you have to go something like user blah 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 wherever your sdk bin is there na you have to go till that particular path basically okay so because my environment will be always set so if i will write something like escalate here is see it is able to detect 
Okay, yours will not detect until unless you will not set the path. Okay, or else you have to do CD. Then you have to pass the path CD slash wherever your SQLite three is there. Okay, yeah. Now, now what we want to do? We want to connect with our uh, database, right? So, so what is the first thing you have to do? I'll, I'll just do Control C. We start from beginning. So, what is the first thing you have to do? You have to do ADB shell. What is the command you have to write? ADB shell. So, I'll write ADB shell. Okay, so what is the first command? ADB shell. Then what you have to write? You have to, you have to write escalate 3, escalate 3, then where your database is there. Okay, so escalate 3. Okay, because we are using escalate third version now. Okay, so first, second, third. Currently it is third version, so escalate 3. Okay, now where your database is? So data, data, okay, then we have to pass the package name. Where is, what is my package name? I'll go here from, we should get it from our manifest.xml but both are same so only i am copying from here but uh, it is not best practice we should not take it from here okay yeah now now where is your database so we can see here then uh, i went data data i went to the package now where i have to i have to go to the databases is my folder what is the databases so i will go here i will write data basis spelling is correct yeah, it should be okay databases then what is the one sample database one okay so we can copy it from here sample database one sample database one okay then what to do you just click on enter then what happened you will get the connection you got the connection of the database okay now you can do any operation whatever operation you want to do okay you got the connection now you can do select so so i i want to get all the data now what to do select start from student at the end of this you have to press this uh, semicolon okay so here it will give you all the data trial kumar 1 to 3 okay and trial kumar 32 all these things will come okay if you want to update some data you can directly update here okay so update update we have already written right so let's try to write the command where is our update command here uh, we, here update okay so i want to write this command update student address equal to i'll pass some sort of thing okay so uh, suppose address equal to test okay where name equal to we can pass so trial kumar okay so suppose trial kumar so what will happen now this trial kumar address will become test because i am giving the name called test so let's run this code yeah it got executed now if i want to do select select star from student so what happens see address should become test why because i am using this command so you can do each and every operation from this command term. Okay, every operation, whatever operation you want to do, you can do from your command. Okay, so very simple. First, you have to do ADB shell. ADB shell will work only when your path is configured. Otherwise, it will not work. Okay, be very careful. Otherwise, it will tell you this command is not an internal command. Environment, environment variable. Okay, so you have to go to your uh, control panel, system, then environment variable path. Then you have to you have to pass the path of your where your escalate 3 is there now you have to give the path bin or some folder will be there adb some bin will be there okay so you have to give the path over there so if you see my environment variable i'll show you it is already set so where i'll go i'll go to system system okay then advanced system settings then environment variable if i'll go to path see path never do new or delete otherwise gone nothing will work always you do edit otherwise your machine will not work okay so always what you should do edit see here somewhere down the line i might have given this uh, see a edit bundle something see sdk sdk my path is there sdk path okay so automatically it is picking from here if you want to edit then you have to click on edit here here see edit platform tools inside platform tools you have platform tools 
okay so this is the one you should do then only your your things will work okay otherwise it will not work never do delete or new always what to do edit okay if you do new or edit uh, delete then uh, your machine will not work android will not work nothing will work actually not only android okay so be very careful again and again i am telling okay should do only edit never do new or delete otherwise you have to find someone machine same configuration okay then you have to get what is their copy paste here from that machine you have to copy paste here or else you have to format your machine that is the only thing, only way at last okay because those are set whenever you will install your operating system okay so yeah this is the operation if suppose if you are stuck you don't know how to work with then you can use one of the very important command called help dot help okay so what dot help will tell you that will dot help will tell you all the commands which you can run from here all the commands you can run okay so if you do dot database then it will give you what a database so for timing we are having only one database the sample database so here it is not coming why because uh, some sort of uh, um, it got cut actually okay so whatever uh, here all the commands are there you can run so suppose if you want to exit then dot exit dot exit you will exit from there okay so uh, all those commands should uh, try out all those commands okay and suppose if you want to pull so from database how we are pulling the data you are pulling from here you can write command to pull also so to pass a to b pull from where you want to pull to where you want to pull so you have to give the two means your desktop laptop laptop address will be there c drive desktop where you want to pull so no need to pull from here i mean from here you directly run the command automatically will do if you want to push then adp push where you want to push this is uh, the address will be something like com dot something blah blah, blah databases and what you want to push push means uh, the one which you want which is over there the database which is there you want to push then the uh, source will be your the data of your machine okay so then you can push it easily so these are two commands adb pull and adb push okay yeah uh, this is the way we can do i mean we we are done with so these are the all the examples which are there now so these are the ones all are done I mean, the example which you have done uh, everything is done so these are step by step information okay and sometimes try to understand over here over here okay whenever we are creating this table automatically what will happen it will give you some exception Where, because this table is already present right got it right so so now why it will give you the exception because table is already present it is creating table once again so it will give you the exception okay now this is the one of the method which you can write by which you can check whether my table is already present or not in your database so you just have to copy this method okay copy this method and tell you so how, what this command is doing try to understand select name from sqlite master so whenever you you create any of the table automatically one metadata will be there metadata metadata mm, so here it didn't come okay mm, here it didn't come okay but what is metadata metadata is nothing but data about data metadata means data about data okay so if if i will open this with our mozilla now automatically it will give us uh, one of those one of those table called what is the table name sqlite master so what the sqlite master will do is it will have all the detail about the internal tables which you have in your database okay so if you will try this command what will happen select name type blah 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 name equal to the table name then what will happen it will give you the uh, it will return you one if the data is already there okay so you can do the count if size is one then data table is there if size is less than one means it is not there uh, table is not there okay so based on that you can do some operation if size is, table is there then uh, you want to change one new column you want to add new column then you can you can write some sort of command over there to add the column basically okay so this will be used when you want to upgrade your application now you are having four columns tomorrow when you will update your application i you want to have five columns how will you do that if you will directly write it it will not work why because it will give you exception because it will tell you table is already present now what you have to change you have to change the format of your columns i want to have five columns then you have to add new columns over there you have to write that command basically okay so so how will you check it you have to write this method to check whether your table is already present in your database okay so because it is 
uh, changing the signature of your table right so it will a normal command will not work i mean create table will not work okay so you have to write some sort of different thing and if you want to delete the table what do you want drop table if exist means if, if it is existing then only it will delete and you have to pass a table in that's all okay so drop table if it exists just pass a table and it will delete okay so this will finish your uh, sql